Yeah, um, I have a question. Now, me and my wife bought a, um, uh, I'll just say a toy from one of your shop in Los Angeles, and we were using it tonight, and it, um, uh, sh fractured, and it cut her, um, uh, privates up pretty bad. So, we were wondering, what do we do about that? Um, I don't know the name of it. I don't have the box, but it was it's just it was a um uh, like a plastic dildo. And it a plastic dildo? Yeah, like shattered. Uh, it didn't shatter, just like splintered a little bit. And like a little thing of um uh, plastic just cut her up inside. I mean it's not really bad, but it like I don't even know if it shattered. There's no marking on it. Maybe it was just like just an extra piece of plastic on the thing and she's kinda pissed. And I just want to call you guys and let you know maybe we can get our money back or what do we have to do? Well, I need to know what vibrator it was first to see if it's something that's been affected. You don't have the receipt or the package? Um, she's got that and she's in the other room right now, like, screaming, so. I mean, I can go, hang on one second, let me go talk to her, hold on. Honey? Hurry up, hurry up. It was the, um, uh, it was, what was it, baby? The love, the love what? The love bunny? Is that what it was? She says it's the love bunny? But it, it, I don't either. You're telling me. We were using it, having fun, and then all of a sudden I saw blood and... She's quite pissed. I mean, she's in the other room screaming at me to talk to you guys, and I don't know what the fuck to ask. Like, I'm, I'm out of well, loss. The thing to do is to talk to the general manager about it, and she can tell you what can be done for it, because I don't know what to tell you over the phone. Can I get, can I come in tonight and, like, I don't get, like, something else? Because, I mean, I'm not trying to have the night end it, but she is, apparently. Can we get something else out of, like... Well, if you have the product and the receipt, you can bring it in, and the manager on duty can take a look at it, but technically all sales are final. Even if they're defective? Well, it should be defective in that way. I mean, if it takes batteries, we battery test it before it leaves the store to make sure it works. So if it became defective for misuse, that wouldn't be our responsibility. No, but, like, it would cut her. It, it works. I can go turn it on, and it, like, vibrates like a motherfucker, but... But when you bring it in, we'll be able to take a look at it and tell you what the problem is. Is, is there any, like, compensation she'll receive? I mean, they cut her up. I mean, if you, I mean, I can show you a picture of it. It's pretty fucking terrible, dude. Like, I never want to touch that thing. It's pretty bad. And she is pissed. No, the receipt the package that came in. And will we get a full refund, or can we get, can we just exchange? I mean, that I don't... would be determined by the store manager when you come in. I can't make a decision over the phone. You love it, long boy? Um... Um, so what time does your general manager come in? You want somebody? Monday Friday from 10 to 5. Love me. Um, Monday through Sunday, 10 to 5. All right, and what is your name? Hello? Hello? Yes? Can I get your name so I can just say who I talked to? Sean. Sean? All right, um, all right, sir. Uh, I guess, I guess you've helped me. I don't know. She's, what do you want me to ask? Do you, do you guys have the, um, uh, the rabbit, like the, it's a pocket rocket? We have the rabbit pearl, yes. And we, oh, we have the pocket rocket, yes. How much is the rabbit? Because she just wants to know. The rabbit starts at $70. Hey, it's $80. All right. Because, I mean, if she, I mean, if she wants to just exchange, yeah, I mean, she's wanting to know because she's not going to try to drive down there and not be able to do anything. So it's like, I mean, yeah, I'm not trying to keep on the phone. We can't make a determination over the phone. Hurry the fuck up. Okay, um. <laughs> How much, hang on. What do you want to know, honey? No, 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 I have one more question. How much is the, one second, she wants to know one more thing. How much is the Jaguar strap on? Is that what you want to know, baby? Could you go check on it for me, please? Sure. <laughs> 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 the Jaguar uh, harness 
Super Bowl 9995. One more, the 9999. Okay. And one more question. How much is the what, honey? What is it? Hurry up. This. How much is the Stroke 29? I mean, she just wants to know this because in case we come in and we exchange, she wants to get in and out because she feels kind of embarrassed. Okay, the Stroke 29 is a lubricant. It's downstairs. We'll transfer you down there. <laughs> <laughs> just listen. Just listen. Just listen. Watch this. Hi, I had a question. I want to know how much the Stroke 29 was, because my wife gets kind of dry down there, and I need all I can get. Okay, um, Stroke 29 is actually a masturbation lube, so... Uh, oh, well, fuck it. That's good for me. I, I like it. It's good. All right, how much will that be? Her hands are kind of chalky, so that'll work. Uh... The 3.3 ounce bottle is 17.29, and the little sample size is 2.50. Okay. Have a good one. One, no, one second. I have a question. Oh, yeah. Yes. What um, uh, what lube would be best? Because as I said, my wife is kind of dry, and uh -huh. what would be the best thing to moisten that bitch up? Um, there you can go with a water-based lube, um, like uh, Slickwood. Um, and then there's there's a whole bunch of water-based loops here. It's best if we just like come into the store and try them out. What's liquid? That actually sounds kind of you got my attention with that. You can't just say something like that. What what is liquid now? Liquid. It's the water-based lube. It's glycerin and paraben free. Um, it's all natural and an all-around great lubricant. Do you guys have anything that makes it? You guys have a, do you guys have anything that makes it tingly? We certainly do, yes. Is that lube also, or is that like, a, or I don't know, like, is that, is that, is that like a Trojan con that his or her pleasure, does it like intensify shit? Cause we have warming lube, and then we also have some like tingling gels as well. Do you want to play holding again, though? I have a customer that needs to ring up. Okay. <laughs> Hi, um, I don't know who I talked to this about, but I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there. I just left your guys' store about, I'd say, what, 20 to 25 minutes ago, and I went to use the men's restroom, and I saw what was very disturbing. I saw there's two to three people in the back stall, in, like, the handicap stall, and they were, I, don't, I think they were having sex, but I'm not sure because there's a lot of groaning, grunting, and moaning, and I just want to let you guys know, maybe, because, I mean, I don't know. Like, I just saw that and I was mortified by it because that's, that's ridiculous. And I just left without buying anything. I mean, I just, I don't know. Like, I don't know if you have to tell your supervisor or something, but that's, I don't, I can't believe you guys would allow something like that to go on in your store. I mean, I, I know it sounds crazy, but I mean, if you, I, I, I'm just fucking mortified right now about what happened. And I mean, I was, I, and I was like literally with my little son, my son, and he's like five years old, and he was hearing those and seeing people in there, and I mean, that's kind of fuck. That's, I mean, excuse my language, that's fucking ridiculous that you guys allow stuff like that to happen in your Walmart. Um, uh, uh, hold on one second. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi, I was just talking to uh, the lady before you, and I don't know if she let you in on the story, but I'll run it down. Me and my wife and my little, my son, who is um, uh, four years old, were in your vault, was in the Walmart, about, well, it's about 35 minutes now ago, and we, I went to the, he had to go to the bathroom, I went to the restroom with him, and in the back handicapped stall, I saw two to three, I don't know if they were males, females, or what, um, I think they were having sex, there was moaning and grunting coming from there. And, I mean, I wouldn't be as mad if it was just me, but my little son was there, and my wife is pretty pissed. Wait, in the bathroom? In the bathroom, yes. 
like, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't expect anything, like, I don't know no, what can, you guys. I can check, I can check film and see if that actually occurred. I mean, I, I, I'm telling you right now, it did occur. Like, my little son was there. Like, I don't want him to, like, me and my wife or don't want, like, our four-year-old son to know about sex. Yeah, I mean, it's a little, a little retarded, but, I mean, I'm just not pissed off at the fact that happened. I mean, that happens. I mean, it, you guys can't stop that, but, like, I think maybe. No, well, if it's, and you're saying you think it was employees, or you don't even know? I don't even know who it was. There was, I just saw, like, two to three, I think, I know it was at least two people. I don't know if it was more set the feet, and they were just. Like, I don't know what they were doing. I mean, okay. they were just going at it, and it's like, it really pisses me off because my son was, well, as I said, four years old, and he, like, was asking me questions, no, I, and I'm trying to figure yeah, out what to no, say I to him. Understand. I would be upset, too. I'm trying, I, um, like, what do I say to him? Like, they were just fighting? I mean, he, he's not retarded. And, like, I mean, it's cool if, I mean, I know you guys can't stop that, but, I mean... In the future, yeah, maybe you like check your. Like that yeah, I mean, because you know, that. It's, it's not, yeah, it's not satisfactory to, to the end of the or shoppers. But um, I will check and see. What did you say, about, not, about 35 minutes ago? Uh, roughly 35 minutes ago, yeah. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna look into that and see if indeed we had, you know, a male and a female go into the restroom together. We can take care of that. They could even still be in the store for all I know, but. Um, I'm gonna have security check that one though. I mean, it could even possibly be like you guys might want to. It could even possibly be like three males or two males or something. I mean, I don't know, but I mean, I would just like you know, if it's like your employees, I could come down there and you guys could apologize to my son or apologize to my family because that's like my son has no idea what went on and I can't really tell him. Well, you know, that's sex because he's four, and I don't want to yeah. lie to him. I mean, they could just apologize to me and be like, "We're sorry, we had to put your son through that." I mean, that's. Well, I, I need to know also if it was associates in the store, then I need to take action. Yeah, that, yeah, exactly. I mean, if it was associates, I would, I mean, I will, I will, I mean, yeah. I can give you my name and my number, and you could possibly call us back if, whatever you find out. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah, it might take me a little bit. I have to see if we can review the case right now. I don't know if I can, but, um, what's your name, sir? My name is Jonathan Walston, W-A-L-S-T-O-N. And my number is 631-3399. Okay, my name is Teresa. I'm going to look into this right now. Okay. Um, what's, the late, what's the latest I can call you if I do phone you tonight? Um, tonight would be probably uh, midnight because i gotta get, I got to get up for work tomorrow. So midnight okay. would be okay. the latest. Okay, then I'll try to take care of it as soon as I can, and I'll see, what, you know, I'll see if anything is came from it, and I'll let you know. All right, thank you, ma'am. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Oh, bye. Bam! Yes! Yes! Yeah.